the European school. I was a bit too young to remember, but I remember I was I was really scared. Uh, it's like a big new place to be. I just moved, I think I was like six years old. I have to admit that the first day of secondary, I think, as everyone else, was very scary. I was feeling very nervous. Getting into this big building, grey, a lot of older children, very overwhelming. My expectations of S7 were probably that it would be the most fun year out of secondary. The camping last year was fun. The camping. Oh, yeah. I feel like this year is going to be even more fun. It's uh, our last year in this school, hopefully. It's the one you have to uh, socialize the most and uh, you know, try and meet as much people as you can. I suppose I will miss most the friends. I mean, because now from this point on, we'll all go our own ways, you know. We'll probably never see each other in this kind of a group as we are right now. Well, the people, yeah, the like people. my friends. Um, and everything that comes around. Yeah, we just know everyone for so long. And it's just like, like a big family, and yeah. The thing I'm gonna miss the most about being in school is the lifestyle. Everything is much simpler. My trip was to Elba in Italy. The thing I enjoyed the most was the fact of being with my friends, the people I care about, where we could just be together for a whole week in the sun, in the beach. All the sunsets we watched together and how we, at the end of the trip, were a family. I went to Greece. It was warm and it was like very nice going to Eos and to Santorini. It was a lot of sightseeing. We went for a six trip to Mallorca. Did a lot of cool sports, jumped from cliffs. I went to Ireland, which I thought was a very enjoyable trip. It wasn't just every tourist attraction. On my sixth trip, I went to Sicily. We had low expectations, shot through the roof, turned out amazing. 30 hour bus ride, couldn't be better. Six year trip to Tenerife. I spent time with people that I didn't really spend time with. Uh, during that years, I made a lot of friendships. Yeah, it was very fun. it's our last moments all together. We just cherish it more because we just know it's our last time all together. My favorite memories of our seven is basically the daily life. Coming late to the first period, the teachers all get mad. After the break time, you all go downstairs as fast as possible to get a place on the sofa. When the second bell rings, no one gets out of there. So all the teachers get mad again. And to see everyone the next day. My favorite memory of S7 has probably been the back parties that we've had. I got it, bro. 
Yes, S7 did live up to my expectations. I think so, yeah. I think because the good bits are really good. And I feel like you finally get to see what your future is going to look like. So it's really scary, but it's really exciting at the same time. Yeah. Of course, yeah, it, it, uh, it lives up to, to your expectations. The people in this year, really, they all treat you very well. Everyone's kind to you, everyone's nice, and, and they bring a good atmosphere every day in school. If I was going to describe a seven in one word, it would be wild. Exciting. Short. Really nice. And family. Perfect. Fun. Lovely. <laughs> Unexpected. Memorable. Memorable. The end. Flashbacks. Dear graduates, you were an amazing group of young students. When I will be really old and sitting in my rocking chair, I will remember you as my last students. There will be no students uh, after you, and that's really nice. But most of all, I wish you to be very happy. <laughs>